Hello everyone, welcome to TOTI Talk. My name is Fabio Zamaretti and I am the organizer of Tractor of the Year, the international award for agricultural tractors. Within this podcast series, we're going to talk about agriculture and mechanization. And today we're going to talk with Anders Nielen, professional journalist from Sweden, chief editor of Nielen Technique. Hi Anders, and first of all, a quick introduction about yourself and about your media. Thank you. Uh, well, my name is Anders Nylén, like you told, and I am from the beginning a Swedish farmer. And we have a, a farm with uh, roughly 160 acres, uh, hectares, uh, and that is uh, with uh, sugar beets, potatoes, wheat and barley. And uh, since uh, a little bit more than 25 years ago, i was also starting in the agriculture and media sector. And um, that is, uh, we have one uh, technique magazine. It's only about uh, farming machinery. And um, in 2009, we also start with the internet. First with uh, uh, articles that you can read on the web, but also from 2013 with a broadcast uh, television news daily. Thank you, Anders. For sure, you have a great experience. That's why I would like to ask you something else about technologies. And I'm talking about robot, autonomous driving, digitalization and precision farming. So could you give us a general overview from your perspective? Yes, uh, like you told me, there is a lot of those things, new technologies, autonomous tractors and also a lot of electronics for precision farming. And uh, all the manufacturers are quite good and they have new machinery. And uh, I think that um, the, the problem a little bit now to get into the market is that um, the farmers are a little bit afraid. They don't get um, all the information and, and I, I think there is a little bit of a, a problem. Some of them, uh, yeah, they don't buy this technology a little bit because uh, It's um, sometimes in the beginning it was uh, expensive. Not it, no, it's not so much expensive, but I, um, and I think it's hard to, to learn. All right, maybe we can also say that farmers need better coaching and the access to such a technology can be an issue for them. And now, Anders, maybe you can give us some insights about farming and agriculture in Sweden. Uh, in Sweden, we have roughly 3 million hectares of arable land, most of it in the south, and the farmers are roughly also 20,000. And um, most of the farmers that are working with uh, uh, arable land, grown crops, they are quite interested in the technology. For example, buy a tractor, they often buy it with, with uh, all the features that is uh, possible to get into it. A lot of tractors of today have auto steering, for example, and there is also a lot of uh, farmers using uh, the GPS for the section control on the sprayers, on the sprayers. So there is a, a demand and a interest of, of using the, the high level of technology in Sweden. Great. And talking about technology, what do you think about autonomous tractor and autonomous driving? Um, one thing that has coming uh, during the, the last years is autonomous tractors. It's uh, not only the tractor manufacturer that have been launching such technique, also some of the implements manufacturer have tried to, to uh, yeah. innovate the uh, autonomous tractors and and uh, i think that is going to be of interest in the future no at the, in the beginning we have the, uh, the rules the legislation that is a little bit is a problem but i think that is going to be solved out sooner or later and this is something that also can be useful because there is a problem to get the staff to the farms and i think that is also going to be an increasing problem in the future. And therefore, I think autonomous technology is perfect. All right, that was a very nice overview that we had from Sweden. So thanks again to Anders Nielen, chief editor of Nielen Technique. Totti Talk is the podcast powered by Tractor of the Year, the international award for agricultural tractors. 
follow us on our social media and for more information about us visit tractorofthear.org.